What is up everybody, Gaming2BXP, aka Extra Perfection, and today I'm going to be showing you guys three hacks. I'm going to try to sneak in the bonus one, but uh, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, this one is pretty simple, okay? You go to your shooting lineup because that's the only lineup it seems to work in. You can't really do it in any other lineup, so you go to your shooting lineup, you make sure you make that your head-to-head -head lineup. Or whatever and then you put in these crappy players all right and what these crappy players do is they knock down your overall so you'll be able to play other crappy players but there's a trick okay I'll have to show you guys in a second I feel a little weird. all right see now I'm a 57 overall I was an 83 it knocked down my overall rating all right, so now I could go to the head to head. It's gonna refresh or whatever. See, now I could play other crappy players, okay? So, I'm gonna try to find a low place, lower place. Um, let's go to this pressure right here, all right? As you see, this team's pretty terrible or whatever. And what you do before you play them is you hit highest overall, all right? Now you could play his crappy team with your beast lineup, all right? And let's get into that matchup. And doing this, you could instantly gain fans, get to a million fans, and move up, like, go, like, NBA Hall of Fame or whatever the levels are. All right, this next one is, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the sprint button. All right, you know how it's super hard to get through a defense. See, look, at, I got to see. I'm going to try to just get through this defense. Like, I got to do all this, and I still can't get through it. All right. But, and I don't make this shot. All right, see, it's pretty tough to split that defense. All right. But I'm going to show you guys a way to glide through the defense with zero effort. All right. Now, I'm going to go... Take this way back, all right? But that's pretty much good. Watch this. Let me put that up. You hold the drive button, and you could instantly just split the defense. I missed the dunk. Ah. But you see what I'm saying? Like, you could split the defense and simply score. Um, Steph Curry, he's not really a drive person. But if you got a Kyrie, you're definitely going to make that every time. Uh, so you hold the drive button, you go right past that point guard, and you can make a layup. All right, that's two free points in your pocket. All right. Now I'm gonna try to show you guys how to cross over if it works. Like there's a way uh, to do like the special skill set and cross over. I'm, I'm just gonna let this dude score. All right, because yeah, it's taking too long. I right, watch this. Ooh, you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, all right, now I'm gonna rock him. And you wanna make sure you got you a good point guard or whatever who has good dribble moves because when you cross over, you can pretty much hit threes from anywhere on the court. All right, when I get the ball back, I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do. All right, so let me let him score or whatever. Let him score. All right, he missed it, it don't matter. All right, what you do is you take the analog stick and you go left, all right? And once you go left, you immediately hit drive, all right? And then you pull up, all right? And you could probably hold the drive button and you'll still be crossing the ball over or whatever. But me, I just do a little quick sum sum and then I just hurry up and immediately shoot the ball because that's very efficient with uh, my Steph Curry. And, you know, I just, I think that's pretty cool right there. So that's three. I said I'm going to try to sneak in another one. So let's go to the season games real quick. Uh, I'm not going to use my two-way. But you know what I am. I am. All right. Let's hurry up and get into this matchup. All right. Uh, right, I'm gonna do this. 
All right, I'm shoot three. All right, I missed it. I'm gonna let them score. All right. No, you know, no, I'm not. I didn't like how I missed that three. All right. So what I'm gonna do is hit the home button on my phone, swipe this out, and now I'm gonna come back. All right. And I know you guys probably do this. Uh, don't think I'm a cheater. I really don't do this. Only in like NBA Finals. You can do this in your NBA Finals or when the game's really on the line. You can do this in live events, but you got to do it quick. You got to do it right when it happens. And you see it says resume. I don't have to hit like hit it and have to use up three more staminas or whatever. You could do this up in uh, NBA transparency or whatever. And you see it restarted me, and now I have the opportunity. See, I don't like how he made that. I could easily just go back and, you know, re reset this or whatever and hit that. But one thing you should know is up in season gameplay, it's going to take you back to the last shot made. So, like, with this Kyrie, he finna take me. All right. You got to do it before these guys pull up. See, like, right there, before he made it, I should have swiped out or whatever if I don't want him to have that point count because it's going to take you to the last shot made. All right. But anyways, that was uh, four ways you could cheat up in NBA Live Mobile or, you know, help yourself out, you know, and get better. All right. Um. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and especially if you want to see more, more videos like this, alright? And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.